15 years old, Pasco resident Klimako Abarca was paralyzed in a diving incident. Now he's well on his way to becoming a lawyer. I sat down with him today to learn how he's overcoming many obstacles to get to where he is. We're just diving in the river with my family. So I dove, but I didn't come up. Much of Klimako Abarca's life since his accident in 2001 has been filled with surgery setbacks and ways to overcome them. It's a C5, C6, so I'm a quadriplegic, and I wasn't able to move anything when I first got injured because I remember being in bed, couldn't feed myself. Months after his injury, the determined student returned to school. After high school, he attended CBC. It was kind of hard because, I mean, my mom is a, is a single mother at at that time, so she was mom and dad and working two jobs. My thinking was changed to now I have to do a lot of school work so that I can help her in the future. Then another setback. Klimako says he dealt with issues from a tailbone infection, but recently he started to feel well enough to start school at WSU Tri-Cities while working from home. His major, psychology, with hopes of going to law school. I like that too, learning about laws and what can you do or cannot do. Maybe I can help other people. So I am looking towards either injury or immigration because there's a lot of that here. He's attending college with the help of Able Washington, a savings plan for residents with an eligible disability that helps them save money and invest in a tax-free account without risking their state or federal benefits. I found that great. I didn't know about it, but if I would have, I think I would have started that a little bit earlier. He has a message for people who could use a little inspiration. Just take it one day at a time. Don't get too stressed out. Tomorrow's a different day, and you know there's always a change. Abarca has set his sights on Gonzaga for law school in the future.